In our previous video, I talked about the one eyeshadow that you need to know how to apply to make everything else so much easier. Then we added a dark shadow and turned it into a smoky eye just using one more eyeshadow. Now we're going to add two more eyeshadows to take it from a smoky eye to a cut crease. This was our first and most important eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is a mixture between your blush, bronzer, contour, even your favorite new lipstick shade. It's all of those things in one. So just adjust this to make it work for you. Now you can skip to cutting the crease from this point if you just wanna test this out, or you can apply a second eyeshadow. You want to pick the depth that you are willing to go. I went for a medium depth to create this smoky eye. I also recommend you using a matte eyeshadow to create this, particularly for beginners, because if you can make matte work, you can do anything. And we ended up with something that looks like this. We have some shape around the eyes, a smoky lid, but now we want to cut the crease. I'm gonna do a very basic introduction into cutting the crease using just half of the lid. And this is done by using concealer. You need a small brush, synthetic if you can. Concealer or lip brushes are great, but it needs to be flat. I find if I pick up a little concealer and pinch it between my fingertips, I can create this really smooth, sharp line. And I'll just keep doing this as I go through the makeup look. See how flat it becomes? This is what we want. I'd also recommend looking down in a mirror, eyebrows slightly upwards, and maybe even tilt your head back so you can see this outline. This is the crease line. And this is the line that we want to follow. Now this is very similar to how we apply eyeliner. So you can rest your elbow on a table and lean over a mirror, or you can rest your pinky on your cheek for a little bit of support. Start by applying a small amount on the inner third of the lid. A little will go a long way. And we're doing a pressing and pulling motion, similar to how we applied the matte eyeshadow. And you can keep it low to begin with because when we want to create that shape, what we're gonna do is look upwards. This will create a stamp of the concealer so we can see the outline of our crease. And then just follow that line to create the shape. Now, if you have uneven lids, what you can do is add some balance by going higher or lower, depending on how you want your eyes to match. Once I reach the halfway point of my lid, I like to just take a clean finger and tap off any excess right in the middle. And you should end up with something that looks like this. The inner third to half is covered, so it's much lighter now. And I like to tilt it up at an angle, the same angle that follows my lower lash line. The outer half is still dark, and then above in the crease, we have this transition shade that blends upwards and fades. However, this middle line does not fade. It looks very harsh and unfinished, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. We'll come back to it. First, we want to set the concealer with a light eyeshadow. Now for my mature lids or my dry eyes, you can use this instead of using concealer. You won't get as much payoff, it won't be as strong, but it is a great way to make sure it's nice and light. So if you feel like it looks or feels heavy because of the concealer, you can just skip it and use the light eyeshadow. And feel free to use this underneath the brow arch if you want to. Now remember that harsh line in the middle? We want to use a fade shade. Now this is what I call a fade shade. It's basically a transition shade, but a little bit bolder. I suggest even using a little bit of your blush for this. Now my favorite brush to apply my fade shade with is this one. I've had this brush for 10 years and it's still my go-to. You want to pick up a little bit of that blush tone and blur and blend at halfway point line. Very lightly sweep right in the middle and then you can blend this across the lid, bringing it all the way over. And you can also bring this up into the crease line to add that pro finish. You can even blend this underneath the lower lash line all around the eyes. It's actually one of my favorite steps to do to create that really pro finish. Then go ahead and apply some mascara, some lashes, which are totally optional. And then there we go. We have three options with the same base, just adding a little as we go. We added a smoky tone in the previous video, a shimmery tone in the one before that, and now we have taken the smoky look one step further to create this look. That's why it's so important to know how to apply that first eyeshadow. Now I will be refilling these soon because I really like the information, but I've had some issues with my camera, so I know sometimes it was very blurry, but I hope the information was informational for you. And as always, my friends, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I will see you in the next one. Oh, and also, if you need any more help or if something isn't working for you, let me know because I am always here to help. <laughs>